School, it's Mr. G, and what today we're going to do is we're going to work on the stud welder. Alright, so uh, basically, um, what this does is when you have a piece of, uh, let's say you have a piece of steel, right, and you had a dent in it for some reason, you could put these little studs in here. And then you can, um, it'll weld that stud right there. Now, if there was a dent there and I wanted to pull it, what you could do is you could then put this slide hammer, lock it in place, keep the pressure on, and then see how it, it pulled it up, right? So take a look here. So if you had, let's say, a dent in a core, uh, you know, you could, and you couldn't get behind, you could weld that on there and then pull it out. Now, there might be some stretching and shrinking that you have to take care of with a hammer dolly later, uh, but this is the initial pull. You're able to pull right on there. Then you have to smooth it out. And what I did was I pulled very hard, and if you'll notice, come on in close, that I pulled a, a hole right in there. So you, that's also a thing. You want to go gently. I think I pulled it way too hard. <laughs> But <laughs> that's what the stud welder is used for traditionally. But what I use it for in the classroom is for something called heat shrinking. All right. Now heat shrinking is when you use this just to heat up an area because you want to shrink the material. So right now we've got too much material because we ran a bead. And now I'd love to shrink right there, which is what I normally do. Right. People usually shrink right here with the shrinker, which is from another video, right? But what I do, uh, when it's more than an inch, because it won't fit in the, the jaws. So let's take a look. All right, let's take a look at that. You guys all know the shrinker, right? So what you would normally do is you put this in here, but if you notice, I can't get to there because the jaw only has about an inch on this particular machine. So I have to shrink it some other way, and the way that I'm going to do it is I'm going to use the heat. I'm going to put my gloves on, i got my glasses on, and I'm going to use the heat to shrink, okay? So once it heats up, it expands, and then when it cools down, it becomes uh, less distance. Um, if you do it on the... Uh, Let's see. Yeah, you could do it right here. We'll do it right on top of here. Don't do it on the wood because the wood will catch on fire. So what you got to do is you got to connect this piece to this piece, right? I'll put it right in the center there, right here. And I'm just going to walk it around. And I'll let it cool. Okay. Now it still has a little bit of a, a pop, a little pop wobble to it. So I did one, let's do the other one. I'll roll around a little bit. And the wobble is, is less now, see? A lot less. Now you might have to work on it just a little bit, but already we're flat. That works like really fast and really well. Um, you could do a little bit more if you wanted to. Yeah, don't do it on the wood, otherwise you get a little smoke. And then anywhere you see that there's extra material, just do a little bit. Like, hold it for like, you know, like three seconds. Like one, two, and maybe three. If you do more than that, what you're end up gonna do is you're gonna probably melt through. All right? Okay, I'm Mr. G, and that is the stud welder used as a heat shrinking tool rather than the mechanical shrinking in case you can't get further than an inch. They do have shrinkers that reach in. I just don't have that at the school here. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.